As of today, the amount of abortions in the U.S. this year is around 327,975 in county. This information was obtained from an abortion counting website called numberofabortions.com. Today I will be speaking on a highly controversial topic and how laws should be created to put limits on abortion. Because this topic is one of the most highly controversial topics in the U.S., I have done research to prepare for this speech so that I can present and provide support. Although there is a constant battle between pro-choice believers and pro-life believers, I will discuss the need for laws that will provide a compromise for both groups. I will discuss the need for change, my solution, and how society will benefit from it. I will begin by explaining the need for change. Every day, people argue over whether abortion should be legal or illegal, and whether it is right or wrong. I am not here today to state my opinion on this matter because I think that it is a pointless approach to the problem at hand. People who believe in pro-choice believe that it is a mother's right to decide. At OES.org, it states that in the Supreme Court case regarding Roe v. Wade, made on January 22, 1973, the court held that a woman's right to an abortion fell within the right to privacy and is protected by the 14th Amendment. Therefore, women were granted reproductive rights. People who believe in pro-life argue that abortion is the ending of a life and is equivalent to murder. At abortion.procon.org, it is argued that life begins at conception, so unborn babies are human beings with the right to life. In other words, abortion is considered as taking rights away from an unborn life. Another argument for pro-life from the same website is that abortions reduce the amount of, of adoptable babies. Many women struggle with fertility and the ability to have children of their own. Having the baby and putting it up for adoption should be considered as an option opposed to abortion. Moving on, I will discuss satisfaction. Solving the long battle of whether or not abortion should be legal can be solved with a compromise for both pro-choice and pro-life believers. For example, in today's society, there are large amounts of birth control available to both men and women. Birth control should be a solution for all women who do not wish to become pregnant. In a 2016 article by Nicole Caradas on the Odyssey Online, she states that birth control should be covered by all health insurance. Not only does it prevent pregnancy, but it also helps to regulate women's menstrual cycles and treat endometriosis along with other health problems that women may experience. While birth control is a good way to prevent unwanted pregnancy, I feel that it, is, it should be a requirement for women after receiving an abortion in hopes of preventing a repeat abortion. Which brings me to my next point. Women should be limited to the amount of times that they can have an abortion. While I do believe that abortions can help in situations of rape, incest, or health, with the amount of preventatives available, it should not have to be repeated over and over again. Last, I would like to talk about visualiz visualization. Laws that limit abortion can provide a compromise for the two strong beliefs and put an end to decades of arguments over the topic of abortion. Despite my personal belief on abortion, the fact is this. Making abortion illegal will not keep abortion from happening. It will only make it illegal. For instance, many drugs are illegal today in the U.S., but that does not keep people from using illegal drug drugs. In 2006, at AmericanProgress.org, Jessica Ahrens wrote that close to 70,000 women a year die from unsafe abortion, and numerous others suffer grave injuries, including infection, hemorrhaging, and infertility. Therefore, making something illegal 
does not always provide the best solution. In review, abortion is very controversial and enforcing laws that put limits on abortion can help end the debate to the two strong beliefs. So I invite you to research the topic of abortion with an open mind and demand for change. Rise up and be more open-minded to abortion as a right that should not be taken away but should have limits and boundaries. In conclusion, high volumes of rape and sex trafficking as well as illness due to pregnancy require a need for legal abortions. However, putting limits on abortion can be beneficial for everyone.